Hi, this is Thunder E from Motorwalk.com, and today we're doing a full review of the Asa Spire 1 722-0473 notebook. This is an AMD powered notebook. Um, spec wise, this runs an AMD dual core processor, the C60. The C60. Um, see the packaging here? Um, it's got Acer all over it. Also shows you some of the specs on the side. It's 11.6 inch HD LED LCD display. It's got a Raytheon HD 6290 graphics card, two gigs of memory, 320 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, there's no optical drive. It's got a webcam, uh, six cell battery. So let's go ahead and open this up. So what we have here, absolutely nothing. Shows us what we have with this device. Let's see, on the side here, we do have our travel plug and a portable charger. So this is actually the travel charger. It's kind of big, differently designed, I believe. It's quite simple. Uh, this plug is in here for you guys, so you can see it right there. And you twist, lock, and you're good to go. Set that aside. And let's take out our Asus Spire 1. Seems very light. Let's open this up right here. This is the Aspire One. It looks pretty cool. Um, what you've got for ports, you've got a USB, a VGA, Ethernet, power plug, HDMI out here. It's pretty cool. Uh, nothing's got a nice front lip. Got your SD card enclosure here. Got a headphone and headphone and mic. Two more USB, so three USB ports all. Well. No optical drive. Set that slightly aside here. Below we have some more well, warranty information. And we have our battery. So let's get there here. Let's put this up. Take our battery out. And go ahead and do this. So what we do is we're going to set this up. This is the first time you can see it's fresh. We're going to do a cold boot start. Let you know how long how long it takes to start and um, all that fun stuff. But before we do that, let's just take a look at the keyboard here. It's got this nice, well spaced out keyboard. I like this. I like the keyboard. Um, for my hands, I can use this keyboard well. I think it's got a multi gesture uh, touchpad. You can see the signature there. It shows you the specs also uh, from Acer. Of course, the power button's over here, right there at the hinge. You've got a webcam up top. Ah, you can see that. Webcam, um, nice large display, it says HD Internet AMD, so we're going to power this up, charge it, all that fun jazz, and see how well this works. Alright, so before I continue the review of the Asus Spire 1 uh, 722, the first thing you must do is swap out your memory. It comes with 2GB of memory, I can tell you it's not sufficient to run this thing properly, and it's a great piece of hardware. So what you need to do is get 4 4GB of memory PC3 uh, 10600 uh, chip. It uses takes one DIMM SIM, so that's pretty much it, just one DIMM. And I can show you that process quite quickly. You flip open your to the back of your device. There is one screw here on the top. That's the only screw you're going to be taking out. So I can just screw that. Have our screw here. Make sure you keep that safely on the side. Uh, slide open your battery, which is actually this little thing here. You can use your screwdriver to do that. Take your battery away. And all you have to do is slide forward. That's it. Very simple. Probably one of the simplest ways to actually open up a notebook. Back, of course, here you have your hard drive and you have your DIMM. Take out your old DIMM, comes with a 2GB DIMM here. Again, you can see 2GB PC3 10600S. Take my 4GB DIMM here, 10600. Slide that in place. That's pretty much it. You can also swap out your hard drive if you want to. Very easy process. Remember where, how things were placed. Now you're going to put this back. You're going to slide this back. Slides into place. Take your screw. You had single screw, drop that in there, screw it back, slide your battery in. Sorry, and 
and you are good to go and power your device. So now that we've changed the um, memory from 2 gigabytes to 4, gig 4 gigabytes for the ACS Fire 1, uh, first of all, you can see the memory indication here. It is 4 gigabytes noted on screen. What you also will note that uh, it actually runs much faster. Uh, the system also, uh, system also uh, starts up quicker and you have, of course, more memory usage. Now, about the ACS Fire 1, things that we like about it, the keyboard. The keyboard itself is flush. Uh, I have big hands and I actually use the keyboard well. I do like the keyboard layout. I don't really like chiclet keys, so I'm glad they actually went away from chiclet keys on this device. Um, this also has a HD uh, display and actually sharp, it's vibrant, it's clear. The webcam is decent and does a suffi su sufficeable, I mean, actually a good job uh, with Skype and uh, things like that. Uh, where this actually excels well is actually with its uh, process, actually the AMD dual core uh, processor. It houses the um, AMD dual core C60 and also has a Raytheon graphics card in here. There is solid performance on the device with uh, both AMD processors and battery life. Actually, is about five to six hours of battery life on this so far. In my test, I've gone on about five hours. Lowest I've gone with maximum uh, usage is probably about four hours or so. So you've got decent battery life overall on this device. Um, Weight-wise, it's uh, pretty light, and um, you know you can see where uh, AMD can easily enter into the ultrabook market with uh, a processor this capable, and also you can see design-wise. Um, Acer also has done a very good job here. Overall, I like the um, Acer Aspire 1722. You know, it's no longer called a netbook, it's called a notebook. It's an 11.6 notebook. You've got HDMI out, which actually works well. Um, you've also got some gesture controls here. So, for instance, you, um, which also are intuitive and easy to use. Now, the thing I will mention about this that um, I really think is interesting is the fact that it runs very cool so you don't feel a lot of heat coming up from the back here and it runs cool um, you know there's some sometimes you may feel some hot air but not that much and it's a cool device overall so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Acer Aspire 1722 let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook YouTube it's all boiler work with two O's. So this is Thunder Yee saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment.